Hey, how's it going all you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with episode 8 of the Direwolf 21.20 mod pack. And today we are building the Wither Cage here. Um, we're going to quickly get all this stuff placed down. I went ahead and I made a building gadget um, actually to build that. And I've kind of just kept it in the back arsenal for a little while. But uh, they aren't too expensive. We can quickly look at the recipe here. Um, but this is, you know, quite simple. You, of course, do need a way to power it. Charging gadgets is a fantastic option. It's kind of why he uh, made charging gadgets, is to make sure that people have a way to power their uh, building gadgets, mining lasers, things like that, very, very quickly and early on in the game. Um, this actually does have a menu here, if I can remember which keybinds I put. Uh, tons and tons of different options. I'm not going to go over them all, but you guys can look through it. Um, check out the documentation on the mod and check out Direwolf 20's videos, you know, because he does a pretty decent explanation because he's the one who made the mod. Um, but yeah, let's get to building this. So we've kind of got a little bit of a wither kind of situation set up here. You've got the base block and then the three to the side, three heads. And then this way, the same thing, just kind of showing us where we need to place all these blocks. It's not a bad idea, but we just need to make sure we double wall all of this stuff. So let's kind of build up here. So even on top of his head, we need to do this. There we go. And then, of course, with the building gadget, we can make this much, much simpler. Man, I love how this is also um, a rewrite of the original building gadgets. This is building gadgets 2, technically, in 1.20. But it um, basically works the exact same. There's some animation changes. There's some quality of life improvements uh, and things like that. But overall, it's definitely an improved version. Because uh, I remember playing with the building gadgets, making this specifically, like this wither box before. And uh, the actual connected textures break quite frequently with the older version. This version, it looks to be much, much more flushed out than uh, it used to be all right i'm gonna have to go grab some more of this but uh yeah fantastic there's also of course other building gadget parts you have the copy and paste gadget you have the uh exchanging gadget cut and paste gadget destruction gadget and a few other odds and ends in there uh, but i really focus on building gadget because that is also a lifesaver if you have plenty of cobblestone on you you can kind of water bucket um in a sense with uh cobblestone whenever you have the building gadget set to that so it's a pretty nifty thing. All right, we're running out of coal here, so let's go 16 blocks of coal. I'm getting charcoal smelted up so we can actually make some more of this tended glass, so let me be right back. All righty, so let's get the rest of this placed here. So we're also going to quickly just make a little hole so we can actually access this. And we'll take out all of this here. Let's uh, make sure that we just do one by one. That way we can actually check out the interior because it looks like I missed a handful of pieces. And this is where we just didn't finalize it fully. Where is that block at? It's hard to tell. Uh, so just right here, I think. And let's get back up on top of this. Might help if I quickly take a nap. Okay, and then at the end, it should look something like this where you've got a hollow cube in the inside of this. Uh, let's go grab some skulls real quick. Um, but before that, so I just don't forget, let's claim this. This is inside of a single chunk, I do believe. Yes, very, very close to the end of a chunk, but that's fine. I accidentally just captured a sneak screenshot here, but that's fine. Um, skulls, that's what we're looking for. So I did find the iFly mod after uh, recording the previous episode, and I'll link it down in the description so you guys can check it out. It basically does add flight to armor. Um, using armor trim, which I'm kind of curious about looking into and seeing if we can potentially have some creative flight that uh, might use a 1.20 system. And I think that'd be really, really cool to kind of check out and explore. Because I'm wondering if you need it on all pieces of armor or just a singular piece of armor. So I guess we'll really, that'll be a really big test, right? To see if that actually functions like that. All right, here we go. Uh, quickly, okay, quickly just muted all of them. Ooh, get out of there, B. Oh, I forgot. Since he's technically on a chunk, he actually can knock that out. We don't need this claimed, by the way, so let's just do that. Uh, chunk loaded, not claimed. There's a difference. Do-do-do. 
That way we can walk in here. Just make sure we don't die here. Man, this sword is weak as can be. I'm not used to it. Having something so weak this uh, fighting the wither here, but that's all right. I'm dead. I took my eye off it for a second. I really need to get a more saturating food because um, bread and stuff's not cutting it. But then, you know, like meat, it's hard to get because I can't find animals for some reason around me. Even if I'm on a plains biome. But that's okay. Let's quickly grab this stuff. Yeah, let's see what we can craft with this. So, in the newer mining mining gadgets version, there has been one. Uh, I don't know when it was added. There's actually newer um, ranges. So, there's 3x3, 5x5, 7x7. I think he was thinking about adding the 21 or 25x25. You know, 21x21 or 25x25. I can't remember the, the number. But he just decided, I guess, to add the 7x7 and keep it there. Which is awesome. But that, I would assume that uses a crap ton of power. There's no upgrade cost associated with these, but I would assume it's going to use a ton, a ton of power. Um, Inception upgrade, meta upgrade, repeated potion upgrades will no longer consume upgraded slots. Soul stone. Huh. Some good stuff in here, it looks like. Of course, angel ring, radiculite block. Pedestals, Archmages, that's one good thing we're going to definitely look at. Yeah, so this is the one we're going to kind of keep in our keep in our book here. So I definitely want to look at that. Infinity Wand, so we do have uh, Construction Wands in here. Uh, Infinity Boosters, Pocket Storage. This might be a good thing to look at too. Oh, yeah, we can do the ignore players. That's not going to be a bad one at all. <laughs> what is this? Oh, range augments with pedestals. I might look at the storage with occultism. That might not be a bad option either. I haven't ever looked at that, so that might be something we want to look at. Either the storage from ours or the storage from occultism. I don't know. But let me kill a few more withers here. And uh, we will be right back. All right, so that is four nether stars here. That is fantastic. Let's get this armor trim. Let's see what happens. And I'm I'm really excited, honestly, to see kind of just a, a little bit of vanilla mechanics being expanded upon. All righty, I finally found some feathers. We've got the armor trim here. Let's go for this. So uh, let's do it on chest plate. That just sounds right. Uh, let's go Lapis. Uh, is Lapis a good choice? I don't know. Let's see what this looks like. I mean, it kind of looks a little funny. Hold on. Let's, um... What color? Redstone? Redstone. Okay. Redstone it is. That sounds like a good one. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Oh, just... Just immediate. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is great. Okay, we've already got Creative Flight. What episode is this? This is awesome. This is episode 8, and we've already got Creative Flight. Okay. Uh, the good thing about this, the, one of the biggest things that I think we're going to really, really use this for, for now, is uh, the Nether. Because you know how long it took me to find a uh, Nether Fortress? This is going to be a prime, prime thing here. Right? Because now we can kind of... Uh, Kind of go into the nether and explore here a little bit. And I actually want to do this on camera. Because I know there's a lot of different bosses, right? We've got the Cataclysm mod in here. And we have a lot of the bosses that follow that. And I believe we actually... Um, I found one. That was this one. This boss right over here. And I don't think I ever showed you guys. Because it just... it was There was no real point. Because um, I wasn't really focused on that. But yeah, if we fly over here... Man, I'm loving this. Of course, once we don't have armor, you know, hopefully it doesn't break. But, yeah, this boss right here. Lord have mercy, my ear holes. Holy crap. Hold on. Uh...
Okay. Okay. Nope. I can't hear a darn thing. Is it this? Okay, so it is that. So let's just crank that a little bit less. Oh yeah, he is like... This was not intentional, by the way. I really didn't want to do a mob boss fight right now. Um... I didn't know getting close to him would cause this, in all honesty. We're gonna cheese this, because this was unintentional. Man, he has got a lot of health. Uh, man, I wish I had some R spells, honestly. But yeah, this guy's got, like, ancient debris and stuff sitting around him. Ooh, ow. Okay, yeah, let's not do this. And say we thought about it. Uh, well, yeah, I really... Uh, that did not mean to get close to him. Let's see if his boss meter goes away. Uh, yeah, that's not something I'm prepared for. I don't want to cheese something like that that much, honestly. I kind of want to go full force, but I, there's no way you're going to be able to defeat him with, like, normal armor, right? Like, that... He almost two-shot me with normal armor on. Goodness gracious. Okay, but yeah, let's go down this direction, because we're looking for a warped forest as well. This forest right here. Is this is this what this is called, or is this a crimson forest? No, it is called a warped forest. Because we're looking for these guys. So let me gather up some ender pearls here. And uh, hopefully we can actually look about getting to the end. Uh, I want to probably grab a bow or something. I think we might look into apotheosis just a smidgen. To see if we can get uh, our gear just a bit better. In all honesty, that might not be a bad option at all before we do that. What did we get? Iron Forged. That's fantastic. But yeah, I'll be right back. So I've been cheesing gates, the gateway uh, pearl things. And uh, by simply spawning them inside of the actual mob spawner. Uh, let's go see what we just got. So I just did an Enderman one. Uh, we actually got 120 ender pearls, 266 fragments, several demlets, uh, and some uncommon common knowledge. That is awesome. Honestly, I like the fact that I don't have to do that much with the gateway pearls. I just drop them and then just send it. That's it. But yeah, we just got a ton of ender pearls. So we should be able to get geared for the end. The only thing... And I probably want to look at is an infinity bow. Um, probably. This doesn't cost too much. Honestly, that's not terrible. Okay. Um, probably power five. That's not terrible either. You just need more levels. Uh, let's quickly turn on the spawner here. I need to actually get uh, nether stars real fast. Uh, for these two spawners so they can keep spawning while I'm not here. So let me actually do that real fast and I'll be right back. All right, so real quick, uh, I made a uh, advanced feeding upgrade and also an inception upgrade. I believe where we want to put this is actually in uh, this backpack here, this normal diamond backpack, which is the one we should be wearing. I just died, you know, so that makes sense why I'm not wearing it. But yeah, we put the Inception upgrade in here, and that should allow for us to then put backpacks in here. So this backpack in particular, can I name these backpacks? Is that a thing you can do? Honestly, I've never tried. Um, feed me. Okay. And then if I open it, does it actually say feed me? Oh, it does. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, we're going to put that one actually in here at the bottom. And we're going to save that. So that way uh, we can actually come in here and actually get the food. And hopefully this will feed us. 
I don't know if it'll do it inside the backpack. It should, if I remember correctly, it should do it. So I'm excited to see that. But now, whenever we have food, uh, we just toss it in here and it should feed us. I don't think we really need to worry about this stuff. I don't think. But we're gonna, I'm going to kind of test this by getting hit by the wither a few times. And uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, if you want to access this backpack, by the way, just open it again. You just hover over it, press the open button, and it'll work. So, I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, also, you can just put your other backpacks in here as well. And you can, of course, open those as well once they're in here. Fantastic. It does cost another star, but I really wanted to do that just because that way we have a feeding backpack. We don't have to worry about eating food. All we have to do is worry about keeping it stocked. Now I can get back to the nether stars without hopefully dying. <laughs> All right, I can confirm that this feeding upgrade does work inside of here, which is fantastic, but we may still try and hopefully not die here. I'm hoping it's going to keep my hearts up. I'm dead. Up oh, the feeding upgrade didn't work that well, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like the withering is just, like, suddenly off. Usually it doesn't take that... Like, it usually isn't that bad. Um, but, you know, oh well. We'll get over it. Let's just get our stuff back on, equip everything. Um, we really need to get something that prevents withering. Uh, do we have anything that actually prevents withering? We do have a wither charm. But that is, um... A witherite ingot, huh? Interesting. Uh, but yeah, this wither charm, they do have durability. I mean, we could look at it. We also have apotheosis charms. I don't think those are going to prevent withering. Those look like they give withering. Oh, what in the world? The harbinger? Har har yeah, harbinger. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's look at this. I think we can't do this because we'd actually need a solidification chamber. Uh, I don't really feel like getting into that right now. You know what? I'll just accept the deaths. We'll be fine. I will probably die like hundreds of times during this, but it's fine. All right. So now we have the two wither stars, nether stars, whatever you want to call them. Let's quickly fly in here, apply both of these, and then attempt to get out of here without dying. That's not happening. That was a bad idea. Nah, oh well. <laughs> also, quick note, that was 30, that was my 32nd death. <laughs> uh, I've died a lot. Um, mostly due to, to terrible, terrible things that are in this mod pack. Hopefully I'll show you one of these days, but, you know, I don't feel like basing them again, honestly. <laughs> Let me get my stuff back. Okay, but now, remember... Nether Star is actually ignoring players, so we don't really care too much about being in range or anything like that, which means now this can definitely and run permanently. Like, we don't have to worry about it. Um, there's, of course, the Dragon Egg, which is useful. Um, it, it ignores spawn conditions, so that would be used for, like, slimes, the uh, squids, you know, uh, mobs that require, like, water drowned i guess you could say so there's a handful of creatures that require specific spawn conditions that are that it would be really really useful for not all of them but there is a handful out there um and of course drowned you can use to get copper uh the slimes of course slime balls those just require a decent area magma cubes gas i think it's just kind of forces things to spawn no matter the conditions that's basically a dragon egg for the spawners uh, which is a fantastic thing, I, don't get me wrong. I just don't use it that much uh, over chorus fruit, for example. So, uh, yeah, let's get the bow stuff sorted out. So I'll get the power five, infinity, and I'll be back here with you guys in a second. Hey, yo, what in the world did I just stumble upon? Uh, what is this massive structure? Holy crap, this isn't even fully in view. My game is, like, lagging really hard to generate this structure. What is this behemoth? What in the world? I'm just gonna yoink that. Welcome to the machine. Find a mechanical nest. Oh, man, my game is struggling. Hold on. Uh... We'll just do minimal particle effects, maybe. Will that give us enough oomph? Okay, yep, hold on. 
Uh, I kind of want this spawner, though. Crap. What am I going to do here? Uh, actually, I could conjure Mage Light and see if I can prevent it from spawning. But I mean, the problem is, is now I can't see where my projectiles are because I turned off uh, turned off that. Do I have any arrows? I didn't get infinity because I was trying to find feathers again. Okay, let's just drop. That guy's going to kill me. Yep, hold on. Man, that is, like, difficult. It, this whole thing is going to be like that, I bet, right? This whole thing... This whole machine, man, that is just absolutely massive. Holy crap. Like, I don't even know if I want to explore this because how big this thing is. Like, it seems like it'd be a, an understa- like a very, very difficult thing to do. I mean, it looks like there's some decent loot in here, of course, because we're getting, like, golden apples and stuff. But man... Gearlings. Oh yeah, my sword is not doing anything to these guys. Goodness gracious. These are like little tanks. I bet these gearlings are even worse. Oh no, they're not. They're not at all. Okay. Let's take that spawner here. Uh, backpack. Dump all of this goodness in here. So we can pick up all this stuff. Looks like we got a player head. Where is this spawner? So I know there's one. Oh, it's right here. I kind of want to take that because they've got diamond gear and stuff. Oh, this structure. I don't know about this. This is this just looks like an under, undertaking that I don't know if I want to do. I might do this on camera or stuff, or on a live stream next week. I love the little guys just get like a full out outfit. Okay, but yeah, let's uh uh. Monster riddled thing. Honestly, I don't even want to call it a machine because this, I mean, this looks awesome. I'm not going to lie. Look at this. This is our little robot. That is so cool. But like, man, is this excessive. Oh, there is diamonds in here. Yeah, I definitely want to explore this. That's 100%. There's a whole underside. Oh man, I would love to try and go down there, but I'm, I'm going to get trapped if I do. Let's just fly around here. The other thing is, is like, this is just killing performance. This thing is just... Oh. Oh, it actually got chopped off, it looks like. Oh, that kind of sucks. And like, the library portion got chopped off. What can we find in here? Somebody sneaking their carrots into the library. Huh. Ooh. Is that a secret? Did we just uncover a secret on accident? Oh. Goodies. Ooh, goodies. That is awesome. Seven blocks of emeralds? Man, I don't even, like, want to blast through this. I kind of want to just land on top and just search. But the problem is I am just too... I am too weak. I am legitimately too weak for this. A lucky diamond pickaxe. What can these be used for? Not a whole lot. Block of copper. We could just transform them back. And I need some sort of a, an affinity enchantment. Okay. 
Yeah, but I think this will be our last little bit of, uh, of flying around here. So let's get out of here. Let's go home. That is so cool, though. It's definitely something I want to look at more. Oh, I'm loving this creative flight, though. That definitely gave us a lot of uh, ability to explore the world. But, man, that structure is just so dang massive. Like, that is... Oh, I wonder how many chunks that takes up. Honestly, if we're worried about it, we could look at getting a builder and just clearing the entire structure and just taking all the stuff. But, yeah. Okay. I got the feathers I needed. Uh, I think. So we should be able to kind of continue this. I just need these for books and quills. Um, but I think I only got like two of them. Or is there more in this backpack? There should be more. So I got seven in here, two in here. I got books. And I've got ink sacks. I thought I actually had at least two book and quills. But I know I just needed more feathers. So let me get the rest of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have this agile uh, ender bow of the first archer, which has an 18 plus arrow damage and a 40% draw speed. So let's get this thing thrown in here with power five and of course infinity. This is from the Twilight Forest, by the way. We got that out of a hedge mage. Ooh, look how quick this thing is. Um, also, we really want to grab, uh, where did we put it? This, because we also want to get uh, one more, which is the mending enchant, just so we don't blow our bow out, you know, and for like accidentally destroy it kind of thing. Because I will, I've already done that with the silk touch pickaxe once. I had to make another one. I still don't have mending on it. I'll probably do it again. Uh, can I not do this? Oh, you can't put mending and infinity on top of each other. I completely forgot about that. Oh, that's annoying, right? That's the problem, right? You cannot do that. Yeah, you can't do infinity and mending. Man, I forgot about that. Why is it so stupid? Uh, we should have looked at Endless Quiver. This is actually one that would be significantly better. This actually allows for mending. But that's okay. Let's just... Uh, let's not waste it. Let's put it on our pickaxe. But that is a bow for that... Let's quickly open up our backpack. Open up this backpack. Come on. It's being a little glitchy there. Let's get that stuff thrown in there. Don't really care if we eat the uh, the golden apples or anything like that. And for this, if we get a chisel... Uh, one of these, I think, right? Doesn't really matter. Or is it this one? Hold on. Uh, Re-chiseled. No, we need this kind of chisel. I don't even... Oh, it's right here. Way up there. Okay. Uh, if we grab this and a stick, we should be able to then just open this up, put these cut blocks of copper in here, take out blocks of copper, revert that to copper. We just have a copper farm. That giant machine is, is going to stand no chance against me. Uh, if I need copper, I know where to go, though, right? So let's... Uh, that's fantastic. Okay. But with that, we're going to wrap this one up here. This has been another fantastic episode. Of course, we got the wither. We got our spawners being a little bit better. Uh, let's actually go check on this real fast. We found some monstrosity of a dungeon that I feel like is just going to tank me no matter what I do. Um, we have way too many of these things, but uh, we are getting a decent chunk of XP. I'm actually going to store this stuff and turn this off for right now. Uh, until we need it but next episode we are gonna go to the end and i'm going to attempt to not fly unless you know of course the uh, spawn platform is uh, off the grid uh, i will probably fly over there just to make it easier and then of course we'll explore it with flight because i don't feel like wasting too too much time uh, but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching stay awesome and i can't wait to see you guys in the next episode Bye bye